Yo everyone, Xdog here. Today I'm going to be covering the Chemist Possum Badge. Now this will be the complete guide. If you do need to know how to pass the exam, just click the link to the video in the description. Acquire a beaker, Bunsen burner, lab coat, microscope and test tube. So for this one I'm going to put a lab coat to one side for now and we'll revisit this later. We're just going to tackle the other four to start with. So first up you want to come to Transmission Station 1AT U03, just south of Tyler Country Fairgrounds. Once you arrive, you want to just head to the main gate. There will be a couple of mole rats outside. You just take those out and scan your hand on the hand scanner. Once the door opens, head inside the laser grid and you'll see the option to enter the Enclave Research Facility. Once you get down there, you may remember this place from the over and out enclave quest. If you haven't completed this I would recommend going through and completing all of the story missions before you even try the possum badges. But for this one, once you get downstairs you will see on the right hand side of this desk there is a large beaker. Followed by the left hand side of this desk you have a Bunsen burner. And then after you've looted up the rest of the stuff, moving back over to the right hand side you will see some test tubes. The fourth and final thing, if you turn around and look on this desk, you will see the microscope. Acquire a lab coat. So going back to this one, you want to head to the Gorge Junkyard. Uh, you want to find somewhere nearby, I used North Kanawa Lookout, which is right next to Vault 76. Once you arrive, if you just take the route that I'm taking, there will be a couple of protectrons, iBots, whatever, whatever, just take those out. You want to be heading to this red boat at the back. Some may say orange, red, whatever it is to you. It looks red to me, so once you get in there, you find those lab coats. Craft baseball grenades. So for this one, you want to be heading to Wavy Willard's Water Park. If you just head straight forwards towards the main gate, you head straight on around the fountain in the middle, and you'll see this kiosk. You'll find three baseballs on the counter, followed by a fourth one inside. You do only need three for this, possibly even less if you use the super duper perk. You will need demolition to expert at least rank one for this. And you want to be heading to a tinkerer's workbench. Once you get there, hit craft, head down to grenades and look for baseball grenade. Like I said, you will need rank 1 for this. It is going to use some basic materials, oil, fertilizer, adhesive. So you shouldn't worry too much about materials. But you just need to craft up 3 of these for this challenge. I am going to advise throughout the video to craft the grenades individually, so one by one. Just for more chance of the super duper perk popping and giving you uh, double on what you're crafting. It will help you complete the quest a little bit sooner. Craft Cryogenic Grenades. So for this one you're going to need the science card, at least rank 1. You want to head to the Tinkerer's workbench again. Hit Craft. And once again, head down to Grenades. Once you get there, you're going to find Cryogenic Grenades. This one is a little bit more expensive, it does require Demolitions rank 3. But you craft 3 of those, and you're done. Craft Frag Grenades. Same again, Tinkerer's Workbench, down to Grenades, find Frag Grenade, and like I recommended before, try to do them one by one just to get that super duper to pop a couple more times. It'll save you some materials. Craft Hallucigen Grenades. So for this one you want to head to Darlin Sisters Lab, which is just north of Tyler Country Fairgrounds. When you spawn in, you want to head west, which is straight ahead towards the compass, uh, the shack icon on the compass. There will be a few floaters around here so you might have to take those out. But on your left hand side you will find a hallucinogen gas canister in this little shack shed sort of thing. In the burrow outside there will be some soap as well. You might want to take this for the oil that's required for the rest of the grenades as well as the fuel tank outside this little cabin caravan thing. Once you enter you can see another hallucinogen gas grenade on your right hand side and a little bit of salt for your cooking if you do need it. 
Now for me there was only two that spawned throughout this whole place, but there should be a third and a fourth uh, between the rest of these three final cabins. So there can be one in there on the bed. There can also be one in here kicking around by the safe. And also one by the bed in this third and final shack. It could be on the table or by the bed. If you by only chance got two, same as me, you want to head to Charleston Herald, which is just west of Wade Airport. Once you spawn in, make a U-turn and head uh, almost east towards the Wade Airport. You will see the tall radio tower. If you just head towards this radio tower, you'll see a wing of an aeroplane kind of crashed up against it. If you run round and use this wing to gain altitude, and climb up the building. There might be a floater that followed you up. I had one that come trying to attack me, so I just had to take him out real quick. And at the top of this tower, you will find another hallucinogen gas grenade right there. The, the gas canister, sorry. If you then head home, go to a chemistry station. It is a chemistry station this time, keep in mind, and not a tinkerer's workbench. If you wanna head down to grenades, find hallucinogen gas grenade, and once again, try pop these one by one to get double from Super Duper. Craft Molotov Grenades. So for Molotov Grenades, you're going to need to come back to a Tinkerer's Workbench. Go down to Grenades once again, and the top option, craft up a few of these. Singles, just trying to get Super Duper to pop again. Craft Plasma Grenades. So for Plasma Grenades, the plan is quite hard to find. You are going to need to play the personal matters, supply and demand, missing persons, or daily and repeatable quests in the ash heap to find the plan for this one. It is quite expensive on the materials and you are going to require demolitions expert rank 4 and science rank 1 for this. As you can see it does require nuclear materials and circuitry, as well as also plasma cartridges. If you don't by any chance have plasma cartridges, what you want to do is head to energy ammo and find the plasma cartridge option. You are going to need one plasma cartridge for each grenade, so not too many. And one batch here will craft up 54 for me. It might be more or less for you, but as long as you get a couple to craft the grenades, you should be fine. Craft pulse grenades. So for pulse grenades, same as most of the other ones, you want to head to the tinkerer's workbench, down a grenade and find pulse grenade. This is going to require Demolition Expert rank 3 and a Science rank 1, as well as some other materials like you know, Material and Circuitry. Craft 3 of these up and you're done. Craft Pumpkin Grenades. So this one is slightly different, you want to open up your pit boy you want to head to the Data section and to Daily Challenges. You want to go to Miscellaneous and find the Speak with Jack at the Pumpkin House Miscellaneous quest. If you don't have this uh, option available, that's fine, you just want to head over here to the pumpkin house anyway. This can be found at the top right of the map, up by Fort Atlas and Sons of Dane. Once you get there, you want to just find Jack and speak to him. Once you've spoke to him, he's going to ask for more uh, pumpkins and he's going to give you the quest Trick or Treat. So what you want to do when this quest start is head down the stairs and look in this direction. Head straight forwards in between these two trees here. And you will see a blue car parked outside the front of a house, right here. If you look to the right hand side of the car you'll find two patches of pumpkins. Now using the green thumb perk you will get double from this, so that will give you four. And right over here you have another four patches of pumpkins. If you pick those using green thumb again, you'll come out with ten or more. Once you've got your 10 pumpkins, you want to just head back up the stairs to Jack, speak to him, let him know that you've got the pumpkins from, and this is going to complete the daily quest Trick or Treat. Now after a few seconds of completing this quest, you will see the item rewards pop up, and as you can see there we have 10 radioactive pumpkin seeds. Once you've got those, you want to head back to a Tinkerer's workbench. You want to go back down to grenades, as before find pumpkin grenades and just craft those up. Once again doing one at a time, trying to get that super duper to pop, save you some materials. Craft any serum. 
So for this one you want to find the White Springs Bunker and come to the White Springs service entrance that is right next to it, between the White Springs Bunker and the White Springs Resort. Once you've found that you just want to fast travel over, head through this main door here, through the hand scanner and you'll see a final door. This will take you into the White Springs Bunker. If you then turn right and just follow the path that I am taking, this will lead you into the science wing of the Enclave. You can then find the Modus Science Terminals. There will be four, it doesn't matter which one you use, they all do the same thing. Just approach one and hit the trade button. For me that's square. If you then head along to the notes section, you will find the recipes for all of the serums in game. At max charisma, these will be 17,500 caps. As you can see I bought a few at the bottom there. They are quite expensive so it might take you a little bit of time to save up for these. But this is a good way to spend your caps if you do hit max and don't have anything to buy. Once you've got yourself a serum or two, you want to head over to the chemistry station. You want to head down to mutated serums. You can use super duper uh, for this again, trying to get double the pop. But you just want to pick any serum that you bought. For me these are the five that I would recommend just because they do give you the best uh, positive effects in my opinion. So just pick yourself a serum, for this one I'm going to choose marsupial and I'm just going to craft one bottle of this up. Use any serum. So for this one you're most likely just going to hop in the pit boy, go to items, go to aid, find the serum you've just crafted and use it up. Cure addictions. So for this you're going to need to cure 3 addictions, which means you're going to need to gain 3 addictions. So what I would recommend is just go into the aid section, finding some meds that usually have increased thirst or increased hunger, and just start popping those one after another. And as you can see just here, we have got an addiction to Dadio. If you look at the bottom right where the weight icon is, you can see the red med icon as well. This does mean we have an addiction. All you want to do is hop to aid section in your pit boy and take an addictol. This will cure the disease that you have and you can see that that red icon has gone and the daddy -o addiction has gone. Do this three times and you'll complete this challenge. Use photo mode at Arctos Farmer. So for this one I think everybody knows how to use photo mode but you just want to hop on your map, hit the triangle button for me on PlayStation. As you can see I'm in photo mode. You can use uh, square to toggle the menu on and off if you want to get a better photo but just take a snapshot by hitting the uh, take snapshot button for me that's X on PlayStation. Now that you know how to take a photo I'm just going to show you the six locations I believe it's six five locations that you're going to need to go to the first one being Arctos Farmer right here. You're then going to need to use photo mode at AVR Medical Center Use photo mode at Dyer Chemical. Use photo mode at Kanawa Nuka Cola Plant. And use photo mode at Rest West Tech Research Center. Shoot a Radstag with a syringe. So for this one you want to come to a weapons workbench. You want to head down to pipe weapons, uh, pipe guns, sorry. And you will see the option for the syringe. The syringe can only be crafted at one level, one set level. You can modify this if you like to. Once you've done that, you want to head to your Tinkerer's workbench again and head to ammo. And once you're on ammo, you want to head down to syringe ammo and make yourself up some syringes. The ammo is all the same for all the syringes, it's just one kind of ammo. Once you've made some of that, you want to head to the White Springs Resort, but you want to be sure not to head to the White Springs Refuge. So whatever you do, don't fast travel inside to the White Springs Refuge. You want to make sure that you do travel to the exterior of the White Springs Resort. Once you fast travel over there, do a 180 degree turn and head for the house straight ahead. I do kind of bear off to the left, you don't need to do this, just head straight ahead. This is me just looking for the location, but like I said it's just the first house. It'll be on the furthest right from when you're looking directly at it. And you'll see this garden on the back here. 
you walk in, I got taken by surprise. But there is a rad stagger right here. Just shoot him in the face to complete this challenge. Shoot a wolf with a syringer. So for this one, you want to head to Autumn Acre Cabin. I do want to note you don't have to kill the animal in these, you do just have to shoot them once with a syringe and that'll be done. But once you spawn in at Automaker, you just want to head straight forward so you will see a few wolves here. You can see one straight ahead, there is a few coming in from the sides. There's one right at the back there, you can see one on the left as well to the back. But just pick a wolf and shoot him in the face. Like I said, you don't need to kill them. Shoot a Yao Gai with a syringer. For this one you had, want to head to Dolly Sod's Wilderness, which is on the right hand side of the map in the Maya. You should know this place from the Stinging Things quest. Once you spawn in, walk straight ahead and you'll see a nice Yao Gai out the front. Pop out your syringer, make sure you got some syringes. And just take a shot for this guy. Might as well take him out when you're here, because he's got some good acid and stuff on him. But this should have been the last step in this possum badge. After this guide, you should have completed the chemist possum badge. Thank you all for watching. I'm X Dog. I'll catch you in the next one.